Hello everyone, this is Frank Elo from Afri Design Studios. In today's tutorial, we shall be learning how to render with Revit. How do you render with your Revit? How do you set the parameters? You know, when it comes to rendering, your settings matters a lot. So what are the combination of settings that you would need for you to have a good quality of render in Revit. So this was actually a question that was brought to me by one of my students and I think this is the right time for me to treat this very question. So having said that, can we now jump straight to Revit? So you come here, click on your Revit icon. So this is a work I've done already previously in Revit. Okay, this is the default 3D view of this very work. Okay, this is the default 3D view. But when you want to render in Revit, what is the first thing you do? The first thing you do is to take a shot take a snap of the building or the angle you want to render. So how do you do that? You go straight to your project browser. I normally take my pictures from natural ground level. So you go to natural ground level, double click on it. That is going to give you a better view, a better view in terms of station points. So. This is my natural ground level. I'm going to pick my camera. So how do I do that? I go to the top of the screen. Here you have default 3D view. By the side of it, you are going to see this small arrow. Click on the arrow, then click on camera. If you now look at your cursor, you will see that the cursor is now having a camera on it. So. It is time for you to position your, your camera and take a snap or a shot. I don't normally take it directly to the building. I normally set my camera at the side or at a corner so that it can give me that perspective look. So I position it here and I drag to the direction I want it to capture. So I click. It is going to bring out this for me. So. You won't see some part of the building because the camera was too close to the building. So what you need to do is to click on these blue buttons, click on the one at the top, and drag it up. Click on this one by the right, and drag it to the right. Click on the one by the left, and drag to the left. Then now you can see the whole of the building. Okay. With this now, we can now start our rendering, but I normally set this as my visual style on realistic so it can give me the the preview of the colors i have in my building if it is actually what i wanted okay so but before that click outside so that you can deselect the camera so that those blue buttons around this crop region will disappear having done that i will now come to visual style click here and select realistic click on realistic the colors will come out so now I am satisfied with the color I'm seeing I can now go ahead and do my rendering so I come here at the bottom of the screen at the bottom of the screen you will see this Ketsu symbol click on the Ketsu then it's going to bring out this dialog box when this dialog box comes out do not click on render yet under quality come here and select either high or best if you want to print the drawing out but if you are test running you want to just do you know test your rendering you can use draft draft is faster but of the lowest quality the quality of draft is not that good so, but when you want to do a quick render, you can use it. It is fast. But if you want to print it out, come to 
either high or best okay then if you want to rearrange or set your own um, parameters okay your own you want to edit what Revit had already um, set beforehand you can click on edit and come here and begin to give it your own customized um, settings but this is going to take you a lot of time so I wouldn't advise you to do this just click OK and cancel this so just follow what Revit has already set for you it is easier and faster so I click on this arrow and select high if I select best best is going to come out the best quality but it's going to take a lot of time for it to render so because of time I'm going to select high then the next thing I'm going to do under resolution change it from screen and um, click on printer when you click on printer this is going to come out 150 dpi dots per inch that is the meaning of dpi dots per inch okay so it is actually for resolution you click on this arrow you will see 75 dpi 150 dpi 300 dpi 600 dpi so the higher the dpi the better the resolution of your image so i would like to use 150 okay because um this is just a tutorial but if you want a better quality you can use 300 okay haven't said haven't done that i don't need to change anything here i don't i don't need to i don't need to tamper with this i just leave this the way it is so i come here under lighting because i am rendering exterior exterior view okay and the artificial lightnings are not going to be needed in this my rendering so i would select sun only which means only the natural lightning only the natural lighting will be um applicable here will be effective okay the artificial lighting is not going to be effective because we don't have any plans for it so if you click on this arrow you are going to see more options if you will be needing your artificial lights and you'll be needing your natural lights so you can select sun and artificial but if you need only the sun light that is natural light to be effective or to be utilized then use sun only when you scroll down you will see other options but because of time I won't go through that so I click on sun only the next thing you do is go, come to sun setting sun setting you see these three dots click on the three dots it is going to bring you here when it brings you here go to steel click on steel when you click on steel it's going to bring out this under setting for location is going to bring a default location which is Boston MA Boston MA this is the default here on the date it is going to show you the date of today the current date is what it's doing is going to show you then for the time it is going to give you this time but the time will be the time of Boston okay so but we are in Nigeria so we have to change this from Boston to Nigeria and we have to um, set your date if you want but if not just leave the date the way it is how do you change Boston to your own country your country of residence it may not be Nigeria it may be Ghana it may be South Africa it may be wherever so come here on these three dots click on these three dots it's going to bring out this you can see under define location you have two options there click on this arrow to see the other option you have default by city list and you have internet mapping service so I would advise you to select default city list when you have done that you now come here under city 
you are going to select your own city click on this arrow when I click on this arrow I am in Nigeria so but even when you are in Nigeria it does not matter whether you are in Abuja or you are in Port Harcourt or you are in Kano for Nigeria we only have one city and that is Lagos so do not bother whether you are in Lagos or not just look for Nigeria and select Nigeria so I go down so where is Nigeria Let's go up a bit Nigeria so okay we're going to look for Lagos first okay it's under Lagos L Lagos Lagos Nigeria Lagos Nigeria Okay. Hope I'm correct. Okay, here is Lagos. Lagos, Nigeria. There is no Abuja. There is no Kano. There is no Port Harcourt. There is no Enugu or elsewhere. Just click on this very one. Lagos, Nigeria. Why is it not taking effect? Lagos, Nigeria. Lagos, Nigeria. What happened? Lagos. Okay, Lagos, Nigeria. So that is all about that. Once you have selected Lagos, Nigeria, the next thing you have to do is just to click OK. For the latitude and the longitude, is going to take care of itself. Just click OK. And you will see it here. Lagos, Nigeria. Once you have done that, the next thing you have to do is to set your time. You may not set the date. The date is not all that important. What is important here is the time. Okay, let's set this time to 10 a.m. You see this arrow here? One is pointing up, one is pointing down. That is where you select your time. Okay, we have it at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. is the time, Nigerian time, Lagos time. Once I've done this, I'm going to click apply. Once I click apply, you are going to see the effects here. Okay, but that is not um, that important. So click OK again, and that is it. Once you have done this, the next thing you have to do is to come under background. Background, click on this arrow. You have options, you have sky with little cloud, with no cloud at all. You have sky with very few clouds, you have sky with few clouds, and you have sky with that is cloudy you also have a sky that is very cloudy so depending on how you want your cloud your sky to look like do you want it to be cloudy very cloudy or few with few clouds but i normally choose image so come to image but you have to cho choose image if you already have some um images that you can use for your background so when you click on image here is going to bring you here then click on this very um field image here it is going to take me to my doc uh, to my documents but i'm going to go to um desktop where i have it saved go to desktop then i have a i have it stored here don't click on this don't click on this wherever you may save your own just go there and pick so you can see the images here so for the sake of time, I'm not going to start selecting anyone. I'm just going to pick one. So I pick this very one with a tree on it. So I click open. So this is the image I've selected. So this image is going to be at the back of the image, at the back of my building, sorry, at the back of my building. So I click OK. But also take note that if you don't have any image to use, just select any of the clouds here. Okay, but the image will give it a better look. Once you have done this, the next thing you have to do is to hit render. So it is going to start rendering now. OK, 
okay it's still coming up okay you know we we selected high we are using high for our quality so it's going to take time for this to render okay it's going to take time for it to render but if we had used drafts in a very short moment you will just see it render and that will be it it is coming up it is still at zero percentage yet you can see how good the quality is coming okay it is one percent now you can see how it is coming out you can see how it is coming out by the time it gets to 50 percent you will see how good the building is going to look Okay, why this is rendering? Because I'm not going to allow this to render to the end because of the time. I'm not going to allow it to render to the end. While it is going on, I would also want to show you something here. On that image here, we have exposure, adjust exposure. So you normally apply this when your image had finished rendering. When it has finished rendering, you can now go to exposure to adjust this exposure will now enhance the brightness and the colors of your render if you want it if you want it to be very bright if you want it to be um if you want the colors to be warm if you want it to be cool the shadows and some other things you set it at adjust exposure but I'm going to teach you that once this very image has finished rendering, that is going to be in the next video because this very tutorial is definitely going to continue because we are not going to allow it to finish the rendering. So when it is done, I am going to show you how to adjust exposure in the next video. Having said that, thank you for watching this video and do not fail to like this very video and subscribe to our channel so that whenever we make a new video you are definitely going to be among the first people to see them thank you for watching and bye